Jeff Rowe from Two Hacks Garage. Well, I'm back on Project Magnum CI, that 323 cubic inch small block Chrysler that I'm helping my friend John build for his 1994 Jeep. Like we've gone in previous videos, we installed the Eagle crankshaft, the Eagle rods, and the Icon pistons. Now we're on to the next step of installing an oil pump. Normally, you wouldn't make a video of just installing an oil pump, but there's a reason being, and I'm going to show you here in a second. Now, we're using a stock style Mellings pump. These are made in the USA. We use Melling pumps on all of our build. They're real high quality. However, we also used ARP main bolt fasteners on this. And when you read the directions from ARP, it talks about there, there could be clearance issues in this. It's actually an easy fix, a die grinder, a Dremel, a little bit of time, clean it up, and it goes right in there. However, by using these ARP bolts, and it's nice of ARP to tell you in the instructions that there's a possibility of clearance issues, you still need to clearance it. So in this video, I'm going to show you guys not only how to install one of these, but how to properly clearance it so it actually fits in there. Like I said, normally you wouldn't do a video on just installing an oil pump, but in this case, because you actually have to do a little bit of modifications, I'm going to show you why and how to get that done and get this oil pump in there. Because you need proper oil going through all this to keep all this protected. With that, guys, I'm rambling. Let me show you what we got going on here. All right, guys. So this is what we got going on here. It's actually pretty simple. Um, if you look here, um, this is where your oil pump actually bolts to. It's two bolts. Um, we did get new hardware with this to do that. Um, it, you know, you have your regular oil pump, and it goes right on there. And you have your keyway that drives off your distributor to make the oil pump flow. Well, if you take a look here real closely where that hole goes into and you look at that washer let me see if i can't uh zoom in on that a little bit you can see how that washer right there hangs over that lip well that's actually not a good thing but the only reason being is is because the arp hardware is a much bigger diameter on the head bolt and those washers which is fine because arp does make a quality fastener much stronger much better than the stock ones that being said if you look at the actual pump itself you have this machine surface. Now this machine surface right here, that actually rides along here and it helps set that in place. Let me show you something here. So you go to do this and go down in there to get your oil pump on there. Well, you know what guys, it's actually not lining up. If you look closely right there, you can see how it's cockeyed. That machine surface is hitting right there on that washer and the head of that bolt. So if you look, it's cockeyed. You can't force that down. You actually do need that straight um, for that keyway on the uh, distributor to go down in there and seat right and actually spin correctly. It's got to be at the right angle. You want it to drive properly. You want it to get your oil in there properly. So yeah, basically what you do, it's quite simple. Like I said, if you either have a die grinder or a Dremel tool, all you're going to do is you're going to take this oil pump right here and you're going to turn it and this area here you're going to groove that out just however much you need to i'm going to do a little at a time and you're just going to clean that up a little bit because it's very solid so that will clearance there slip on down in there and be at the right angle and seat properly uh, mind you that you know these are a cast unit on these oil pumps here so when you're actually tightening these down you do want to be careful you don't want to force it down because you could break this casting so in order to work with a small block chrysler especially on these 5.2 magnums to get the oil pump to actually seat properly, you do have to clearance these if using ARP hardware. Um, they do say in there, um, there is a possibility of there. And in this case, we did come into the possibility of that. You can see here on the machine surface on this back main cap here, it is a little bit bigger here. And the way this one came down to seat properly is, well, you know what guys? It's just a little bit over. It is what it is. It's not by much. But we got a little bit of work to do. Like I said, I'm rambling. It is time to get to work. All right. So first thing first, what you're going to do is you're going to put it in a vise. Um, it's cast iron. You don't have to tighten it real hard. Um, but this is the surface here that you're going to be working with uh, to clearance. Um, we're going to try this so we don't have to actually do anything on here down because you can see that's pretty thin. We want to keep that as solid as we can. So we're going to work up in this area here. Um, however, this is going to have some metal shavings. Um, so you see here, well, that's a hole that goes into the pump. You don't want anything getting in there. So what I'm going to do is literally just take this and I'm going to tape it up. 
That way we don't get any surface content or any uh, metal flakes or anything like that uh, in there and it can contaminate the oil pump. Um, that would not be good to get those little metal shavings in there um, with the oil pump. Yes, you could take it apart and clean it and all that, which we'll probably do anyway. However, I'm just taking a precautionary measure uh, to make sure we don't get anything in there. Um, one good thing about these pumps is they are easy to take apart. And yeah, so that's what we're going to be doing is taking off stuff right here. Uh, John's got a Dremel tool and he was going to be doing the work. Um, I had some different little bits here. I'll show you which ones that we're going to start off with. Uh, nothing crazy here. These are for a Dremel. As you can see, you got one for a round. <laughs> you got more of a flat and then you got one that's pointed. Probably start off with this one first and work our way into that area just to get it clearanced. Um, nothing crazy, just a little bit of time, check it. Each time you check it, you gotta make sure you clean off any metal filings and you gotta make sure nothing got in here. You do not want any of that in there because metal filings in an oil pump is no bueno. See you soon. for to see if it'll fit but the one thing you notice in here um, the actual head of the bolt is hitting right there on that oil pump piece right there so what we need to do is we're going to remove some more material from where john is pointing to to get past that head bolt um, also looking at the arp instructions sometimes it does call for actually not having that washer um, i would like to have that washer but if it's something where we can't use then we're gonna have to take that out um, but I'm pretty confident what we've clearance on the side is working. Um, but what we're going to have to do now is check to see how much we need to take off that head or off the actual pump right there to clear that head bolt. And if it still doesn't work, then we will take that washer out. See you in a few. All right, so if you look here, this is the ARP uh, main bolt kit. Um, this is for the Chrysler 273 to 440 cubic inch V8. But if you look here down at the bottom, um, it says, use, no, use of a washer on the bolt located below the oil pump is optional. Check for adequate clearance between the bolt head and the oil pump. Remove material from the pump to create adequate clearance. So if you look what they're doing is they're using a feeler gauge in there to determine that. Um, but when we set it in there, um, as we showed you at the beginning, it also hits on the side of the main cap because of that bolt. So not only is it saying, you know, you got to remove the material in here for the side, but because of that washer and that head bolt, you might have to take some off the pump. Uh, so what you see here is John went ahead and used the Dremel tool to get that out and took some out of here. So what we're going to do is we're going to check to see now if it's actually going to clear without having to remove the actual Nope. Well, I don't know. It's sitting flat over here. So what we're going to do is take a look at this. And it's sitting flat, but that thing's got to be fully seated. Uh, we got room. Let's go and take a look at what we got going on here. So a couple things you got to look out for. Uh, one of them here is you see the pump itself is not fully seated to the back rear main. And underneath here, it does look like we do have the clearance. So what we're going to do is we're going to see if we can get that in there to fully seat. If not, we'll use a feeler gauge and see what's going on with everything else. With that, we'll be right back. All right, so we figured out what we needed to do. What I ended up doing here is if you look, um, I went ahead and put some black, um, just an ink marker on here and went to seat it to see where it's hitting. If you look real close to where my thumb is at, it's wore off that marker. So that's where we need to grind a little bit more to get that to actually seat. Um, I do think that right there, we're good on height. So John's gonna go in and remove a little bit more material and we'll be right back to see if that's actually gonna take care of it. See you in a few. All right, so now we're going to test fit it again and see what's going on. 
So now what do we got going on? This is trial and error. Uh, John and I were just talking. You're just removing a little bit at a time. You go too much, you mess things up. Well, you got to order a new one and you just trash an oil pump. Um, so what do we got going on there, John? Um, so it looks like we do have, if you look at the light, we do have clearance between the head and yep. all that. And I mean, it's flat on the opposite side, so we're not running into issues there. Okay. I think we're still hitting in the back some. Well, if we're flat over here, yep. should be good to go. All right. How far down does that need to seat? Well, it's not going to seat 100% completely. Okay. Um, it's going to have to seat to this here. That's what it's going to tell us. That's fine. So what we're going to do right now is we're going to get this fixed. Uh, we do have new hardware for it. Let me show you what we got going on here. Um, if you look, we do have proper headspace clearing now, so that took it out. Uh, what we ground out on the actual shaft took care of that uh, head um, of the actual bolt head there in the washer, so we're good to go. Um, if you look here, we do have it seated actually on the pump, and you want to make sure it's seated all the way around, and it is. Um, so yeah, we are good to go on that. Just like I said, just a clearance it just a little bit at a time. Check it out, test fit it, clean it, make sure there's no metal burrs. So with that, we are going to get this thing all buttoned up. Um, but one of the first things we need to do is John and I need to put on the pickup tube. See you in a few. All right, so we just saw us do um, in that last part. So uh, we got the oil pump on, got everything torqued down to proper specifications. Uh, these are aftermarket bolts. They are they came from Hughes Performance. Uh, it's a big Chrysler performance place, uh, actually kind of local to John and I. Um, but after that, you saw us take this cover off. And what we did is we inspected the oil rotors, if you want to call it, which the, the gears in there that spin the oil and get it through the engine. Um, but from, from the bottom, we checked for any burrs and all that type of stuff. Theoretically, if you really wanted to do that, um, you should probably start off doing that, but done a lot with mellings before and hardly ever found anything. Um, now, like a really high performance application, you can actually modify these for better flow, better pressure, all that type of stuff. Um, but this is a really good stock replacement for this engine being built. So we did, inspected everything, made sure all the clearances were right. You know, you saw a straight edge on there. Made sure all that was correct. And then we went in there, made sure everything was clean, got everything lubed up, and put it back together. Um, one thing we will do is we will uh, prime this engine before we start it. And the, the oil pickup gear that goes to the distributor on that, um, you kind of make your own to spin oil through there. And we'll show that when we fire it up. But yeah, so the oil pump is on. It's been clearance, so it works with the ARP main bolt. We got the pickup on. I leveled that up, as you saw, um, with the engine block. Obviously, you need to make sure it clears your oil pan. Yeah, so that is that, and we will see you in a few. Well, we're going to call that a wrap. Um, it, like I said at the beginning of this video, a lot of times you're not going to make a video on just doing the oil pump, but when using specialty hardware, um, sometimes you have to clear things.
walked through of installing it and I checked the oil pump out internals. Like I said, it's a Mellon's made USA, good quality part. Uh, speaking of that, I'm not going to show it on this video, but uh, John and I like made USA parts. We like quality parts, and you would have seen us put the oil pan on this. However, John bought a stock replacement. Not going to say who the manufacturer is, um, but it didn't actually fit. It was way off the front. So, probably do a quick video on that for the next little segment. But uh, what do you think, John? So, yeah, like Jeff mentioned, unfortunately, the oil pan didn't fit. So, you'll see us, uh, I think we're going to end up going a refurbish route of the stock pan that was on this originally. Um, you know, we tried some manipulations of yes of things to make the pan fit, and we, then we realized the whole thing was kind of cockeyed and bent. None of the holes were lining up, and nothing we were going to do was going to fix that. So, um, overall, you know, I'm pleased with the way the oil pump fit once we clearance it. Much prefer clearancing that and removing a little bit of material so this is not running the washer and having to go into a pan. So, that aspect of it went really well. Uh, oil pan. We'll work with it. We'll get the old one uh, cleaned up and refurbished and we'll get that thrown on and put the bottom end hooked up. Yep. So the next video, we're going to show bottom up, bottom, uh, that's a mouthful, buttoning up the bottom end, the stab of the camshaft in here, get a little timing cover on and go from there. With that, guys, starting to rain and snow a little bit. I'm going to get home. John's going to go inside and eat some dinner. So until then, Project Magnum CI, we'll see another episode soon.